All right, good morning. You ready to come out? Or it's actually afternoon now. How you doing? You doing good? Okay. Let me spray you down. I'll put your mask on. And we'll be ready to go. All right. We've got it. Flies are really heavy. This fly mask is necessary. Flies like to get in your ears. I want to avoid that. And we got to put this on. So, all right. I know, I know. Good girl. Very good. All right, you ready? Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I'll, I'll get that other gate for you. Hold on. Go ahead. Go enjoy the day. Hey friends, welcome back to Good Ale Farm. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, uh, uh, thank you for tuning in. My name is Peter. So uh, today, it's the middle of August, and boy, does it feel like it. It's hot, it's humid, the air is just very thick. It's probably uh, 85, 90 degrees outside right now. Uh, I just somewhat started my chores, so it's, it's not too bad. You know, I, I don't mind working out in this hot and humid weather. I actually prefer it over the cold. So it's not that bad. Um, you just take it slow and you do you know a little bit at a time. Uh, so I got some things today. I'll bring it bring you along and uh, hope you enjoy the video. And I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. All right. Now with uh, Lacey outside, we have to clean the stall out because right now the flies they love the soiled shavings here. So we got to pick the dish up. Got to shovel out these shavings, make it nice and clean. I'll hold off putting any new shavings down, maybe let it dry and air out a little bit. And I'll put the new shavings down later. Um, you know, picked up a couple bundles of them today. All right, let me get to work. Sure. You know, man, I'm sweating bullets over here. Mucking out the stall, it's not a difficult task. It's just one of those things you kind of don't want to do. But it's mind over matter. Uh, just get into it. Probably a 10-minute job right there. Get that done. Uh, so I'm going to let it air out. What I like to use, if you saw me doing it, I use the uh, heavy duty pitchfork first to get like the matted down because it's, it's, it's almost like dirt after a little bit of time of her going uh, to the bathroom on it and then stomping on it. Used a big pitchfork to get that heavy stuff off and then the uh, what I call a coal shovel, you know, a big, big bucket shovel to get the more finer stuff out. And then uh, what you have here is basically the uh, rubber floor mats. So we're going to let it air out, dry out, and later on I'll put the uh, new shavings down for her. Um, hopefully the flies find another place to uh, lay their eggs. Get out of here. Let's move on. And the sound of summer are the red-tailed hawks. You can hear out in the uh, the trees up over this way here is a uh, youngster. You'll, you'll hear the younger birds. What happens is this time of year, the parents kick the youngsters out of the nest and have them fend for themselves to start eating. So uh, that guy there is uh, crying for mom and dad. Hey, help me out. There you can see him with his wings spreading a little bit. Let me try to 
come in a little bit more. But uh, yeah, this guy has been uh, crying for a few weeks now. Every day. Uh, their nest must be somewhere around here because I, I see him coming to and fro and then I see the uh, the parents as well. Obviously the parents aren't making the noise, but uh, just interesting how nature is, you know. Uh, the youngster has to learn to eat, so that's the deal. It's peak season right now for the honeybees. Um, you have all the flowers out. It's warm. You know, the bees like to keep these bees bo bee boxes up around, I think it's like 95 degrees or so, plus or minus, you know. And what they do when it gets really hot, you might see them, what's called bearding. They huddle as a group. It almost looks like a beard sometimes if it, if it hangs down. But uh, they huddle around the box and they're flapping their wings uh, to actually cool it down. I think I have a picture. I'll, I'll try to insert it here. So the bees know. I mean, obviously, uh, they're part of nature. So they have senses we don't. They know... The time of year, they know what's in front of them. They have to get all the larvae fed. So right now, in that these two boxes, it's chock full of honeycomb. And the queen, the queens, plural, are in both of those boxes. So you, you, we won't harvest that honey. But um, in time, if we put a screen on top of box number two, Put a screen so that the queen can't get up through and then put a third box on top the third box would get populated with honeycomb and with the queen down below the honeycomb will just have pure honey in it and you could harvest it that way so all right we'll leave the bees alone they're busy eh, they, they don't even know i'm here they don't care whether i'm here or not so uh all right let's move on all right, let's see how we're looking for water here. Oh, that's low. It looks all kind of nasty, so, okay. I brought the brush along. I'm gonna clean out the bottom of that, dump it out, and then I'm gonna fill it back up. Clean out these while I have the hose outside. These food buckets. I have I have two dishes. These black food food dishes. I, I tend to rotate them because they get nasty. As she she eats and drinks, fall on the ground. All kinds of uh, grungy stuff happens in them. So good to rinse them out, clean them out, then change them around. All right, we got the uh, the water trough filled up. Now it's a matter of, I think I need to get the small lawnmower out and cut some of the uh, the areas that I, it's hard to get to. Like, you know, here's a good for instance, like, you know, behind this little tree here. I can't get it with a riding mower unless I move stuff. And the riding mower is for like quick and uh, quick moving grass cutting. But once every uh, couple weeks, I like to get the long, excuse me, the small mower out. Get like areas over here. Um, I'm not too uh, particular when it comes to the trim areas. And it'll get that going. Hey, check this out. A little sunflower out of nowhere. Hey. Huh. That's amazing. The other ones, oh look, a multiple, multiple head on that one. This one's going to come up pretty well too. 
all right they're coming along pretty good all right i got the uh the little guy out i'll get that going and uh before i do i used i like to put the ear protection in it's always good less noise i have to deal with the better and uh Saves you from the headache, too. I mean, it's so hot out right now that any little bit of comfort you can give your body, the better. All right. Let me get at it. That's enough for, of the uh, push mower. I think I'm going to get on the rider and do uh, a little bit today. figure the more I do today, the less I'll have to cut tomorrow. Um, I'll do some of the small spots. I won't hook up the trail mower. I'll save that for tomorrow. But uh, right after that, I'm jumping in the pool. Just what I got to do. All right, good news. Vacuum doing the job. Pool's ready to go. Now, they say there's many ways to get into a pool. Ah, but the ladder is not one of them. I personally like the cannonball. All right, my friends, that's it for today. It was a hot one. But I'm happy I was able to get some work done, get some swimming in. I'll do a couple more laps. It looks like it's going to maybe rain. So uh, it's getting late in the day also. So anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Hope you're having a great day. We'll catch you next time. Bye.